Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see one more concept in our set theory in discrete mathematics. So in our previous session, so we have seen what are the different operations that can be performed on sets like union operation, uh, intersection, disjoint sets, Cartesian product, etc, etc. And also difference. And now in this session, we'll see what are the different set properties. So these kind of properties we are already seen in our mathematical logic that is in a predicate calculus as well as a proportional logic. So we'll use the same thing in the set concept. So let's start the session with the set properties. So the first one is idempotence. Item potence. So, what is this item potence? So, let us take some A as a set. So, if you perform the union operation on A, it will give A itself. Similarly, consider A, and if you perform intersection operation on A, that, of, that will also give you the set A itself. So, this is called as item potence property. Next. Domination. The next property is a domination property. So for that, if you perform the union operation between A and U, so where A is a set and U is a universal set. So if you want to perform this union between A and universal set, you will be getting the universal set as a result. And if you perform A intersection null set, Obviously, there will be no elements, so obviously the result will also be the null set because no, not even a single element will be having a common, right? So that will be the domination. And the next one, associativity. What is this associativity? So if we are having in this form a union B union C that can be written as A union B union C. Similarly, A union B union C can also be written as A union B union C. Okay, so both are equal then also apply the intersection A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C and vice versa A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C so you can see these two are equal I have written both the cases these these two are equal and these two are equal so here I am applying the union operation and here I am applying the intersection operation so a union b union c can also be written as a union b union c similarly a intersection b intersection c can also be written as a intersection b intersection c so this is called an associativity group so same thing we have studied in our previous topics of uh, discrete mathematics right the next one identity rule what is this identity rule? So if A union phi, that will give A. Phi is a null set. We know that phi is a null set. So if you perform the union operation on phi, that will give you. And U, uh, sorry. A intersection U, universal set. So here A is a normal set and U is a universal set. If you perform the intersection between a and universal set obviously will be getting A itself because all the elements of A will be having an U because U is a universal set and A is a subset of universal set. So we have studied about the universal set which will be having the subset of all other sets. So that is the identity rule. 
नेक्स्ट कम्यूटेटिविटी दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज कम्यूटेटिव रूल ओके कम्यूटेटिविटी और व्हिच वी कैन कॉल इट एज अ कम्यूटेटिव रूल सो दैट इज ए यूनियन बी विल बी इक्वल टू बी यूनियन ए सिमिलरली ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज आल्सो इक्वल टू बी इंटरसेक्शन ए सो इफ यू परफॉर्म द यूनियन बिटवीन ए एंड बी एंड द रिवर्स प्रोसेस बिटवीन बी एंड ए आल्सो सेम बिकॉज़ वी आर कंबाइनिंग द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ बोथ द सेट्स and similarly that can be applied for the intersection also because uh, if a comes first and b comes next or if b comes first and a comes next the order do doesn't matter but we are getting the common elements which are available in both the sets a and b so that's called a commutative rule and the next one de morgan's law so also we have studied in our mathematical logic right so for example a union b whole complement so here it is a complement which can be divided as a complement intersection b complement so this is also same so instead of uh, applying the union operations and finding the complement we can go with that one a complement intersection b complement so this will be automatically change it to the intersection similarly a intersection b whole complement is equal to a complement union b complement so this is a de morgan's law okay so idempotence domination associativity identity commutative commutativity and de morgan's the next one is distributive distributive law distributive law so if the formula is in this way a, a union b intersection c that can be written as a union b intersection a union c so this also we have studied in our uh, mathematical logic similarly a union b intersection c can also be written as a intersection c union b intersection c similarly a intersection b same reverse process a intersection b union c is equal to a intersection b union a intersection c similarly a intersection b union c is equal to a union c intersection b union c so this is a distributive law okay so if this is in format so that can be written in this way we can expand that formula right so a union b intersection c it will be equal to a union b and a intersection a union c and a union b and intersection c will be A intersection C union B intersection C and the vice versa. So wherever you are using the union operation, just replace it with the intersection. And wherever you are using the intersection, just replace it with the union. This is a distributive. And the next one is a complement. Complement. So what is this complement? so a union a complement so you are taking a and you are taking the complement of a okay so which will give you the universal set because we are applying the union operation so a and all the elements which are available in u other than a will be comes under the a complement obviously that will be the u similarly a intersection a complement so obviously a will be having the elements and a dash will be having the elements which are not available in a so this will be the null set this will be the null set similarly if you go with the universal set complement universal set complement which becomes null set and null set complement which will become universal set 
Okay, these are all the complements. Next, the next one is and the last one, which is involution. That means if you take a complement, whole complement, so two times, which will give A as a result. So in our mathematical logic, if I am not wrong, this we have studied as a double negation. The negation of negation A becomes A. Similarly, complement of complement A becomes A. So this is the involution. So here we are calling it as a involution. So all these are the different properties, set properties. So once again, I'll list uh, the first one is an item potence, and then the domination, and then we have seen associativity, and next identity, and the next one commutativity, next an e Morgan's law, and then the distributive law, the complement, and finally the involution. So we need to remember these formulas so that we can, you know, in our further sessions, if, if anywhere, if you want to replace this particular formula, you can replace it with this one. So we have to apply the de Morgan's law whenever it is required, or if you, we can also apply the distributive law wherever it is required. So we need to remember all these set properties, right? So one thing you can do, so you can take an example for uh, two sets A and B, and you can apply this one. So in this case, you consider three sets A, B, C, and just check with this formula. I think you know how to calculate the intersections and the unions we, we have discussed in our previous session, right? So you need to find out this one, and again this one, and check whether we are getting the same for both the formulas, right? Yes. So hope you understood the session. And if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoy my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.